on tour with Honda S Civic. No range of cars is complete these days without a tour, stretched hatches which are not quite in a state in the way we remember them because that would make the crossover a bit redundant and we can't have that, can we? Estate cars existed largely out of business need, a car which had the seats but also capacity to fold them away and load up with boxes of samples for the burgeoning door-to-door -door trade of days gone by. The Britannical Years Tourers, by the same measure, I presume to be for touring and should you find yourself behind the wheel of one I suggest that that's what you do. Head to the hills and after enjoying the breathtaking countryside which sets our land apart dodge the confused sheep high on grass and being held up by packs of cyclists get to know the locals over a pub lunch. Well not exactly get to know them, more earwig on gossip. Some of the funniest one-liners ever heard have come from customers in pubs soda for me and before you say anything you would be on water if you had what I have. What is that? 50p. Or possibly the best ever, come on, time for bed, you re-staggering. You re not bad looking yourself, landlord. So when a Honda Civic 1.6 tech senior landed no time was wasted packing the dog in stormproof gear before heading for the hills. Which is how we came to be listening to men in black high in the Yorkshire Dales. Serious do. I. Many there. I. How old were he? No wage? Just turned 93. Hell of a shock. His mate was there with that wife he got off the internet. Told a state agent he didn't he want that house up plane because it has no seller and he needs a seller to keep his stock in. Why what does he sell? Kinky ladies knickers. Do you know what the world record is for spitting a chunky ch- I do. There is nothing remotely kinky about the Civic Tourer. It is a mildly engaging drive which hardly threatens burst curse tray at 10.5 seconds to 62 miles per hour but repays by promising a massive 72 mpg for those with a gentle touch. Which is not me. Therefore enjoy taxation as enjoyed at 20 pounds per annum. Now, as they say in the top S bottom branch of Ann Summers, think on. This is the Jacks on a £25,500 fully luxuriated estate car which will take you the length of the country's motorways without getting you underwear in a twist. It has not been denied all its cylinders, there is no hybridization it is quite simply a well-engineered 1.6 diesel which performs smoothly and produces little noise unless it is really being worked hard. However, with luggage and family on board it pulls valiantly through hills and dales. The ride is comfortable in the main, senior models come with a three-mode shock absorber setting which you does have an effective ride and handling. There is fun to be had here although obviously not of a type or variety. Inside is already a known quantity, lively civic fascia and a good driving position. Not everyone gets on with the busy instrumentation. Everything is well constructed and feels solid. But it is a Honda so I don't know why I bothered to tell you. Every model in the Chora range comes with stability control and active anti-whiplash head restraints. On the Senior you can opt for a safety pack which includes adaptive cruise control. Equipment for human comfort includes full leather interior, the seats are heated in case you forget the thermals, navigation with DVD player along with the full range of electricals, entertainment and connectivity. With cars like this practicality is a major focus. The Tourer has a massive boot and underfloor storage. The rear seats fold flat and there is a cargo net. A small addition but one that wins votes. If I have one complaint it is that at a cost of just a fiver short of a grand, the car was fitted with optional 18-inch alloys and low-profile tires which ramped up the road noise. Stick with the standard fit 17 inches. Quite adequate. The Honda may look slightly costly against competitors but will hold its value, especially after having been given yet another reliability gong this week. So, if your desire is to visit the best of our countryside to take in the views or whatever is currently fashionable in rural saucy foundation garments the Civic Tourer fits the bill. Sorry, not available in pink.
and about time too. This week I watched a plant pot who had driven into a pinch point on a canal bridge to find a car already on the bridge in the opposite direction, refused to even acknowledge the existence of the fist draft of the highway code. He forced the car to reverse onto an erode blind spot which over the years has seen more accidents and a potty training class. Because I do not rage at the machine, not good for sanity or blood pressure, my reaction was a woeful shake of the head. His was an angry and an extended finger. If this is not a case of failing to show due consideration I do not know what is. The good news is that at last the police can point to results showing they are getting on top of issuing 100 pounds fixed penalty tickets to tailgaters and general motorized loonies. Oh, and three points towards losing another round of pointless. The bad news is that not our forces seem as keen to act. The Met, Nottinghamshire and Gwent are at it like a Jack Russell with a rag doll. Durham manages to issue just three tickets. And I doubt the county is a heavenly sanctuary of angelic driving, is it Mr. Gently, sir? Evening all. Whoops. The ghost got in the machine last week and the Infinity Q70 was jagged a Jaguar in one headline. Infinity is, of course, the luxury arm of Nissan. Apologies Infinity.